Alright guys, I've got a story for you. It's a throwback with a good message behind it. Let's go. Guys, this I've been meaning to tell this story for a while, so I can remind myself not to drink tequila. Let me just say, this entire story is completely true. Uh, ever. Because <laughs> I had a margarita recently, and it's margaritas that caused the horrible chaosness of all of this story. And, well, I used to love Casadores when I was in college, and it was so good just uh, having, I don't know why, but that tequila just went down super well, and I would have the craziest, f most fun times at parties ever. But they would get a little wild, because I'd keep drinking booze, and eventually black out of course because that's what happens if you keep drinking booze you're going to black out so you really need to be careful with that sort of thing and when you drink tequila you even are less careful because it just throws caution to the wind and when I was in college I was trying to be an actor and I felt like I was a professional actor because I got someone to pay for my tequila as a payment for my acting the next day in a video which I wish I could show you guys um, we did a spoof on it's always sunny in Philadelphia <laughs> it's always sunny in Philadelphia which is a great show and I made the guy pay for like a $16 shot for me for the or maybe it was two a couple of them I can't remember but Maybe, no, a shot in a beer, maybe. Newcastle, they had Newcastle on tap. We're talking, hell yeah. All right, get that shot in a beer down. Bam, do it. Film the video, all right. So summer hits, it's vacation, and we're going to go to the beach in Texas. And uh, so we're hanging out at the beach, okay. We have this beach house that we rented. And I ran into these kids that were staying at a nearby hotel. Just a few hotels down from my beach house that we were at. It was like condos, not a separate house. I'm not that fucking wealthy. Anyway, so uh, I back then I used to party a lot and drink tequila. <laughs> and... Uh, this girl started making margaritas in my kitchen, actually. I, I remember my grandma coming in, <laughs> and she's like, What are y'all doing? What y'all what doing in here? And we're like, I'm just making margaritas, Grandma. She's like, Oh, have fun. And so it, it was like really... Uh, a very friendly good time okay things can happen really quickly it, when it's good like that and then all of a sudden shit hits the fucking fan but so we started drinking these big plastic cups that she was making of margaritas and they probably were pretty strong um, so we filled these big plastic cups and started drinking and going in the water swimming and having a fun time just jumping on the waves. Um, she had a friend with her that was a guy, but I don't think it was her boyfriend because of the way she was so flirty. And because of that, me being an idiot, I start drinking more in order because I used to do that a lot when I hang out with the girl just drink a lot and it makes it easier <laughs> I mean we're both drinking not like fucking making her drink and I'm not but anyway uh, oh man so we're playing in the fucking water and the next thing I know it's got it's like done it's done. I was having a great time. It was such a fun time. I was drinking. We. I remember we, we. I finished my margarita cup, and we headed to get another refill. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> I should have just chilled. Maybe smoke a bowl or something, but I probably didn't have any. And um, so we refilled, 
head back out into the water, and the last thing I remember is being like water up to my waist, drinking this cup, and then bam, blackout, completely nothing in the water. <laughs> So, did I drown? Oh, n nope. Thank goodness. I was on fucking... I don't know how people perform while they're blacked out. Like, how do they even function? But somehow, I function enough that they couldn't tell that I was blacked out. And I kept telling them, let's party more. Come on, let's go party more. Oh, there's a bar down the road. Let's go get another drink. I just, when I hit blackout zone back then, I would just be, let's get another drink, let's do some more, let's go get another drink, come on, let's go, let's do it. And so, what ended up happening was, thankfully, the they were, they were Southerners from uh, Tennessee or Louisiana, Kentucky or Louisiana, they're really, really nice people, so th Thank goodness it was the right type of people to black out around. Because I could have been taken advantage of seriously. And thank God, God was looking after me. And so, basically what happened was, this is what I've recreated. And I remember now. It, some of the memories came back to me that morning. But, so I kept going, let's party more, come on, let's party more. We walked down the beach. Um, we hit a beach bar at their hotel. I remember that. They got more drinks. I think I got cut off there. The bartender could tell I was fucking wasted and cut me off. And of course, because he cuts me off, I'm going to get pissed as fuck and start yelling. And before the cops came, luckily I just left. He didn't call anyone. It didn't cause an issue. I just was like, fuck you. What the fuck? fuck are you talking about man give me another fucking beer you piece of shit you fuck give me a tequila shot you fucking asshole i'm not even fucking buzzed and like probably couldn't even stand i was probably sitting down way like wobbling it's good that bartender cut me off but <laughs> being a vacation spot I just I said goodbye to my new friends. They went to their room, and I started headed down the beach, the opposite direction of where my house was, the other way. My house was to the left. I turned to the right and just start walking down the beach, and I found another bar, and I remember, oh, this bar looks really, really upscale. I'm going to pick up some girl at this bar and take her home. And then I was like, oh, shit. I can't take her home. My grandma's at my house and my parent was there. So parents was there. And so I was like, oh, that's not going to work. But I know I'll be able to pick someone up. <laughs> So stupid confident. You'd think I had snorted an eight ball of cocaine. I was so fucking confident while blacked out. And so I, I was sitting at the bar at this hotel that was way down the beach. And I decided to rent a hotel room at the hotel. And so I go to the counter and the lady was like, I could tell that I was having a problem. I kind of have memories of standing at the the hotel counter and arguing with the lady about me renting the room. I was like, oh, this is going to happen. And she fucking took my credit card and ran it. And uh, I rented the room, I guess. <laughs> she gave me the key. I went up the elevator found the room totally blacked out i don't have any memory of the elevator the hallway or the room i find the room use my key and then lay in the bed because the bed's full of sand 
so I know I laid down for a bit. I took out my wallet, my keys, my phone, set them all on the bed, passed out, and then, still blacked out, I woke up, grabbed the hotel card key, go out of the hotel, and wander back down the beach to my house, and walk in, and I totally blank the memory of everything of the hotel and I go uh, and I came and talk I sleep and when I wake up I was like I check my pockets my wallet's gone my keys are gone I'm like oh my god I got mugged holy shit they took advantage of me and I lost everything fuck I started flipping the fuck out and I was like, no, I don't have any of my stuff. I don't have anything. It's all gone. My phone, my wallet, my keys, my ID, my money, my credit card. Everything's fucking gone. And I think someone was like, well, what do you have? It was just like the fucking movie, Dude, Where's My Car? And I pull out of my pocket a hotel room key. And I'm like... I didn't even realize what it was. I thought it was just like a piece of paper, like a bar napkin or some shit. But I look at it, and I'm like, just staring at it going, this, this is a hotel room key. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Where's all my stuff? I still thought I got robbed. And I was like, well, I'm going to go see. I'm going to go look around. Maybe this is the key of my friends that I met the other day. And they have all my stuff. But, uh, so I went and tried to find them. And I, ta I ran into them, talked to them. I go, is this your guys' key? And they're like, what? No, that's not even our hotel. That hotel's down the fucking way. I was like, what the fuck? And so I headed out down the beach and walk into the hotel. And the entrance goes into a bar and then into the hotel. And right when I walked into the bar, I had a slight memory of, oh, whoa, I remember being here last night. Oh my god, I remember arguing with the lady at the hotel counter. Oh my god. And so I go upstairs, uh, put the key in, and the bed has sand all through it, and my shit's just uh, all splayed out on the other side of the bed. <laughs> and so, be you should be very careful when you black out, because if you're a capable person like me, your brain's not going to fucking stop when you get blacked out, you're just gonna keep partying along and doing shit that you would usually do. And if you're a fucking troublemaker, you're gonna get into some serious trouble. That's why people get into so much trouble on booze. They always end up blacking out and then doing horrible shit. Thank God I didn't get hurt. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> That's my first uh, story time video. I got a new sub this month, so I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.